greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. Have you ever played Spades? Spades is probably Project Daddy's favorite game in the whole entire universe, but not that single man shit. I need a partner. You see, it's more fun to run teams. When you run teams, you have to have chemistry. You understand? Project Daddy knows that life is a collaborative effort. And when you ain't got somebody to motherfucking play with, goddamn, it's a real lonely motherfucker out here. And I want to talk to the greatest American live, you, the greatest American live, because so many Americans, they're going out at this thing called life all by themselves. And they think that this shit, you have to go and conquer all alone. And now, Project Daddy, I look at everything. The system tells you what your worth is, all right? And now, business... All business does is, is synergize. Back in the day, Project Daddy had voice stream. You ever heard of voice stream back when they had prepaid phones and shit? Voice stream, prime, cold, singular, all these motherfucking companies. Guess which one of those hoes exists now? None of them. They all teamed up. They all paired up. They're all big-ass synergized corporations, and they've monopolized the goddamn market. They worked together to corner the motherfucking market, and as they made more money, employees who work for those companies they don't make more money right maybe the consumer paid less in prices but goddamn these companies got so motherfucking big and they make billions of dollars and they're trading on the goddamn stock market but you you the greatest american line when i say that you should motherfucking synergize and work with your in a collaborative effort with your, your fellow employees you all look at project Daddy like he's motherfucking crazy what are you talking about project daddy i'm trying to get a raise i'm trying to be a manager Man, everybody in America is a goddamn boss. I ain't never seen a place with so many motherfucking bosses who ain't got no fucking employees. That's a fascinating goddamn dynamic in America, you understand? But it's Project Daddy's contention that the American citizen, the employee, is the most powerful person on the goddamn planet, all right? I've seen America shut down, okay? The government said, man, we're about to have a fucking government shutdown. We're going to have a government shutdown. We're not going to pay the motherfucking bills. Congress did this shit, Okay. And so if a few goddamn Congress people, a couple of 500 motherfuckers have the power to say we're going to shut down America, don't you think that the American citizen has the power to shut down America too? Fuck with me. I'm trying to explain power with you. It's leverage. Everything in the world is about leverage and negotiating power. What can you negotiate? Now, we just went through one of the most craziest times in American history, this pandemic shit, right? And for this pandemic shit, the United States government said, hey, all y'all motherfuckers stay home, okay? Just a handful of people told them, hundreds of millions of folks that they couldn't goddamn move, and we complied. Now, they didn't have no power or leverage. It was just us having faith in the system that said that you have power and leverage, okay? We gave that shit to them. And so when Project Daddy comes to you and says, you are the greatest American alive, and their employees run this whole bitch, nigga, if you ain't got no cash here at Walmart, goddamn, it's going to be a long motherfucking day. It's going to be some goddamn long-ass lines. And now Walmart and other companies like this, they're trying to prepare for it. Amazon is trying to prepare for it. They're trying to create machines that are going to replace you, the greatest American lives. You don't, we don't want you to have no goddamn job. But right now, as it stands in goddamn 2021, without employees, America doesn't goddamn go. But the employee thinks, man, I just want to make an extra dollar, right? You refuse to have a collaborative effort with your fellow goddamn coworkers to go up to Walmart, Target, Amazon, Best Buy, McDonald's, whomever your employee, your employer is, and tell that some a bitch, hey, we ain't doing this single man shit no more. We're it's a collaborative effort. We're playing goddamn teams, nigga. And now I need to see those books. We need to negotiate these goddamn contracts. Listen here, there are powerful people in America who can articulate this shit for us. Shout out to LeBron James. I love LeBron James, one of the greatest basketball players on the motherfucking planet. Yes. But also one of the greatest fucking businessmen. You see, he was uh, like the, the president of the Players uh, Union for the NBA. The NBA Players Association, this nigga was like the motherfucking uh, one of the speakers, okay? So he understands contracts better than most American citizens do. So when he goes on to his lives and his IGs and tweets all this shit, I need LeBron James because I love this nigga so much. And I know that he loves the community so goddamn much. I know he loves y'all, yes? I need that nigga to tell you how he was able to negotiate, and the Players Association was able to negotiate a 49-51 split between the owners. You see, some people, they'll talk to Project Daddy and say, Project Daddy, we're not NBA players. 
Nigga, you're missing the whole goddamn point. You're a fucking employee. Niggas, I know we look at goddamn these superstars like they're fucking heroes. They can jump high. They can soar through the goddamn sky. Yes, they can. Very talented individuals. Man, can't nobody flip no goddamn burger like you. Can't nobody goddamn bag those goddamn groceries like you. Can't nobody goddamn engineer that motherfucking building like you. You are the baddest motherfucker on the planet. You are the greatest American alive. Don't never undercut yourself, okay? And so when I said we have to emulate other employees who've done this shit more better than we do, then I say, hey, Tom Brady, hey, you uh, other motherfuckers in the baseball, I don't really know baseball players, right? That's not my favorite uh, pastime. But these professional players can come out and help the regular employee negotiate contracts on their behalf so they can make more goddamn money. Because at the end of the day, when every motherfucker in America says they're a goddamn boss, the translation is, I make more money than everyone else and I got some goddamn power. But in order to get some goddamn power and to make more money, you have to work with other motherfuckers in your exact same situation. This is called fucking leverage. This is called playing teams. This is why I love spades so goddamn much. Because without you, nigga, it's probably a motherfucking chance that I'm going to lose this goddamn game. Get my head beat in. In this game of life, if we ain't playing partners, nigga, we getting our motherfucking head beat in. There is no class solidarity in America. And so what they want to do, They'll divide us talking about race and shit. And I don't, man, I can't play that motherfucking game. Project Days has experienced true racism, okay? I had to fight for my life because of the color of my goddamn skin. And after I beat all these motherfuckers' asses, do you think I held it against them that they hated me? No, I did not. After I whooped their ass, then they had respect for me, and we went on going on as bestest friends, okay? This is the trajectory of life. You have to fight back and beat the goddamn power system. How the fuck do you beat the power system as an employee in America? Collaborative effort, unionize, and you tell these motherfucking companies that, hey, God damn it, y'all ain't finna take advantage of us no more. You tell this motherfucking government, nigga, you can't shut us down, we'll shut you down. The power is in the people. You are the greatest American alive, and everyone else in this bitch is the greatest American alive. And so when we come together and work together in solidarity to come get this motherfucking bag, they can't tell us shit. They killed Martin Luther King because Martin Luther King said, bitch, I'm coming to the White House to get my goddamn check. And I seen niggas run to the White House getting souvenirs and all types of bullshit. Why you ain't asked for no motherfucking money when you was up there? You hear me? You are the greatest American alive. Project Daddy in the motherfucking building. Hands up, hands up to the goddamn still in the greatest American alive. Let's play teams. Let's go get this motherfucking money. You are the greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.